Microsoft's Autogen is back with another powerful update, focusing on complex tasks as well as improving agent performance. For the people who might not be familiar with Autogen, it's one of the best multi-agent conversation frameworks. It's an open source library that's designed to enable next generation large language model applications with multi-agent collaborations, you have teachability as well as personalization. Now with this framework, you can basically build sophisticated large language model frameworks which can automate various sorts of things as well as help you create software as well as many different sorts of things on your local computer. Now well, let's dive deep into this new update. Adam Forney, which is a principal researcher at Microsoft Research AI, had provided an update on Autogen's enhancement for handling complex tasks as well as boosting agent performance. He basically discussed the effectiveness of using multiple agents working together to complete intricate multi-step tasks. Now, specifically, he showcased how these agents can outperform previous single agent solutions. And this is something that we're going to be actually taking a look at throughout today's video. We're going to be showcasing this and showcasing a couple of demos so you get a better idea as to what this update is talking about. But in simple terms, this is a new improved agent framework, which is way more powerful than before. And it's something that you can get started with today. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants. And this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses, as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new Autogen update because it's absolutely amazing and not a lot of people are talking about it. This was an update that was provided by Adam Forney, who is a principal researcher at Microsoft Research AI. He stated a really cool quote, which I'll mention a little while later. But what he had briefly discussed in this update is the effectiveness of using multiple agents working together to complete complex multi-step tasks. He basically showcased their capability to outperform previous single agent solutions on benchmarks like GAIA and basically having him utilize customizable arrangements of agents that can collaborate. You have the ability to reason and utilize tools to achieve complex outcomes. This was something that has been achieved with this new Autogen update, making it possibly one of the best frameworks that are out there to help you do various sorts of things such as automation, have it generate various sorts of software, assist you in code, and so many other things. But before we move on forward, I want you to take a look at this quote that is basically giving you a brief overview of this new frameworks update. And this is where Adam Forney had stated that agents are very powerful abstractions over things like task decompositions, specializations, as well as different sorts of tool usage. Really, you think about which role you need on your team and you put together your team of agents and you can get them to talk to one another and then you can basically have them start making progress on your task. This was the goal that the research team had in mind for Autogen as they wanted the AI agents to have the ability to have some sort of better generation for complex tasks as well as the ability to have a better performance in comparison to the previous updates of Autogen. Now, I really want you to take a look at this demo video which is gonna showcase a lot more about this update. So watch it and we'll be right back to discuss it further. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. Hello, uh, my name is Adam Forney, and today I'll be presenting our work on completing complex tasks with agents. And, and though I'm presenting, I'm sharing the contributions of many individuals as listed below. All right, so let's just dive in. So in this presentation, I'll share our goal, which is to reliably accomplish long-running complex tasks using large foundational models. I'll explain the bet that we're taking on, um, on using multi-agent workflows as the platform or the vehicle to get us there. And I'll share a little bit about our progress in using a four-agent workflow to achieve state-of-the-art performance on a recent benchmark. 
So what exactly is a complex task? Well, if we take a look at the following example from the Gaia benchmark for general AI assistance, it reads, how many non-indigenous crocodiles were found in Florida from the years 2000 through 2020? Well, to solve this task, we might begin by uh, performing a search and, and discovering that the US Geological Survey maintains an online database for non-indigenous aquatic species. If we access that resource, we can uh, form an appropriate query, uh, and we'll get back results for two separate species. If we open the collection reports for each of those species, we'll find that in one instance, five uh, crocodiles were encountered, uh, and in the other, just a single crocodile was encountered, giving a total of six separate encounters during those years. So this is an example of a complex task, and it has certain characteristics uh, of tasks of this nature, which is that it benefits strongly from planning, acting, observing, and uh, reflecting over multiple steps, where those steps are doing more than just generating tokens. Maybe they're executing code, maybe they're using tools or interacting with the environment. And the observations they're doing, they're, they're adding information that was previously unavailable. So these are the types of tasks that we're interested in here. And as I mentioned before, we're betting on using multi-agent workflows as the vehicle to get us there. So why multi-agents? Well, first of all, the whole setup feels very agentic from sort of a first principles point of view. Uh, the agents are, are reasoning, they're acting, and then they're observing the outcomes of their actions. So this is very natural. But more generally, agents are a very, very powerful abstraction over things like task decomposition, specialization, tool use, et cetera. Really, you think about which roles you need on your team, and you put together your team of agents, and you get them to talk to one another, and then you start making progress on your task. So to, uh, to, to do all this, to, to build all this, we are producing a platform called Autogen, which is open source and available on GitHub. Uh, and I encourage you to, to check this out on, at the link below. All right, so now let's talk about the progress we've been uh, making using this approach. So if you recall that uh, question about crocodiles from the, from the beginning, that's from the Gaia benchmark for general AI assistance. And we put together four agents to work on these types of problems. Uh, it consists of a general assistant, a computer terminal that can run code or execute programs, um, a web server that can browse the internet, and an orchestrator to sort of organize and oversee their work. Now, with that team of four agents, we were actually able to, in March, uh, achieve the top results on the Gaia uh, leaderboard for that benchmark uh, by about eight points. But what's perhaps more exciting to us is that we are able to more than double the performance on the hardest set of questions, the level three questions, which the authors of that work describe as questions for a perfect general assistant requiring to take arbitrarily long sequences of actions, use any number of tools, and to access the world in general. So this is all very exciting, and I want to share a little bit more about what those agents are actually uh, doing. So this is the, the loop or the plan that they are following. Um, so it begins with the, the question or the prompt. Uh, and then uh, we produce a ledger, which is like a working memory that consists of given or verified facts, uh, facts that we need to look up, for example, on the internet, facts that we need to derive, perhaps through computation, and uh, educated guesses. Now, these educated guesses turn out to be really important because they give the language models uh, space to speculate uh, in, a, in a constrained environment without some of the downstream uh, negative effects of uh, hallucination. So once we have that ledger, we uh, assign the tasks to the independent agents, and then we go into this inner loop where we ask first, are we done? If not, well, are we still making progress? As long as we're making progress, we'll go ahead and we'll delegate the next step to the next agent, but if we're not making progress, we'll note that down. We might still delegate one other step, but if that um, stall occurs for, for three rounds, then we will actually go back, update the ledger, come up with a new set of assignments for the agents, and then start over. All right, so this is the configuration that's been working well for us, uh, and it's uh, all I have time to share with you today. Uh, but I, did, I mentioned our, our goal, our bet, and our progress, and I want to conclude by sharing our plans for the future. Uh, so already we're starting to uh, tackle increasingly more complex benchmarks and real world scenarios with this configuration. And we're really excited about opportunities to introduce new agents that, for example, learn and self-improve with experience, that understand images and screenshots a little better for maybe more effective uh, web surfing or, or use of uh, interfaces. Uh, and that are maybe a bit more systematic about exploring that solution space. So rather than just updating that ledger and then restarting when they get stuck, they can uh, be a bit more pragmatic about how they, uh, the strategies that they're employing. All right, well, thank you for your attention, and thank you for attending the Microsoft Research Forum, and we look forward to you joining us next time.
So how can you get started? Well, you can just simply install Autogen's framework on your computer and you can get started with this new update easily. This is where you can utilize things such as the Autogen Studio UI, which is a simple UI that will enable you to create these custom AI agents. This is a AI agent that, or a framework, sorry, that I have installed multiple times on my channel. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. But that's briefly it for this update, guys. It has been fully initialized into the previous framework update. You just need to simply install it and you will be able to adopt this new update quite easily. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on this new update. I really wanted to put spotlight on this because it's something that is amazing. And it's something that is updating this framework even further. So with that thought, guys, I'll leave a link to the original video in the description below, as well as this installation for Autogen Studio UI in the description below as well. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check, take a look at the Patreon link in the description below as well. It's a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free, as well as joining our private Discord for different sorts of chats as well as calls. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and take a look at my previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news, as well as basically staying up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Start positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.